Hey guys as well, and welcome to probably the last part of the Q&A, because I think I got up all the questions that are left on the Q&A video, so we'll just get through fucking all of them now, hopefully. So let's get into it, shall we? So, uh, Duxel... I'm just calling you Duck Duskless with the fucking weird spelling. Uh, it's a series of questions. First one is, is the glass half full or half empty or neither? It's all of the above. That's what it is. It is what it is. Uh, next one, do you feel happy about what you're doing? Yeah, I have no real complaints about anything that I've, I'm doing at this current point in time, so I have no reason to really say anything about anything. Um, next, are you allergic to something? No, I'm actually not. I have no allergies that I know of, so it is kind of nice because I'm not really limited by anything and I don't really like have to be worried about much, so it's uh, pretty nice. Um, let's see, next one. Is there a thing you wouldn't wish to happen to anyone? Ah, <sighs> nothing really specifically comes to mind. It's just like... You know, shit can sometimes happen, and if it happens, it fucking happens, but... I mean, honestly, I couldn't think of a single thing to be like, no, not to anyone or anything, because there's probably something I'd like to happen to someone, I just can't think of it right now. So, yeah, I don't fucking know, because in all honesty, I do believe in, you know, some people deserve certain things, and some people do deserve certain things. I mean, it depends on the person, it's... Like, some people, like I said, some people don't deserve certain things, but in general, some, most people deserve some form of something in one way or another. just depends on how much they deserve it. I know, I probably just made a shitload of sense, but I'm a logical person. What do you want from me? <laughs> um, question five. What do you think about humanity? It's alright, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I there is... I jokingly say all the time that I lose all faith in humanity and everyone I talk to is just fucking, eh, but it's just, I don't know, it's humanity, it is what it is, I mean, really, I only hate, like, as a whole of humanity, it's just, like, whatever, but I, I can't really judge it too much, because I'm probably part of the subgroup I'd put myself in, but... I don't know, just, just philosophical shit is just like, it's hard for me because I'm really laid back about most shit, but it's like, I only hate specific parts of it that, and it's just, it seems like the idiocracy of humanity always seems to stand out more, and I know there's a ton of good points to it, but for some reason the idiocracy, like I said, does tend to, for some reason, stand out more, but uh, like I said, yeah, I don't know, I'm I'm just going in circles, so... I don't fucking know where I'm trying to get at, but the point is, it's alright, but I, I I see more downs than ups, usually, so we'll go with that. Um, question six. Well, actually, no, but going back to that, the thing is that we have no basis of comparison towards another species, like, like an evolved uh, dominant species, you know, like another one in the galaxy or universe, that, but... So it's not like I can really judge it as well as I could because there's no real comparison point between dominant species in a sense. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done with it. Uh, question six. What is the worst show-fandom ever in your opinion? Well, that's kind of two questions in one, but it's the worst show? I don't... I mean, if you're asking just a worst fandom for a show... Um, I, I, I can't fucking, I, I guess My Little Ponies, the, the fucking bronies and shit, I don't know, it's the only real fandom that ever sticks out to me as being, holy fuck, go away, and just, you know, taking the internet by storm, but otherwise it's not like they, really anything else stands out too badly to me, but then again, I'm really crazy and weird and don't know anything, but... I guess that, I don't know, but we're show. It's just, every show has its ups and downs. I can't really give a best or worst. You know, there's some shows I don't like, and some shows I do like. So, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm really just general and just, nah. You know, I'm, I'm weird. Let's just go with that. <laughs> so, sorry I'm not giving a lot of direct answers, but that's just how I can be. Anyways, next question is from 
Cobb A off. His question is, if you could have any animal as a pet, which would you choose? A cat. I like cats. I want another cat. I really want a cat. But I can't get a cat right now. Because you can't take care of it right now. So that makes me sad. But I want a cat. And then Cobb F asks, how tall are you and how much do you weigh? Um, I'm about 5'10", 5'11", and I'm about 190-ish. So, you know, I'm not like... Like I said, I'm not really too overweight, but it's not like I'm fucking, you know, I'm only a little bit overweight, um, contrary to popular belief. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Fucking, I'm a decent height. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, next question, because there's not much really else to say, is from uh, GDD08. If you could have any Pokemon as a pet, which one would you choose? Any Pokemon as a pet? I would. Well, the thing is. It kind of goes back to if I could have a single Pokemon, because Pokemon are technically pets anyways, so I probably want to go with, like, Jirachi, just because then I can grant wishes to get more. So why the fuck not do that? Sounds like a smart idea to me. So let's do that one. Uh, King of LP15 asks, if you can remember, what was the first Pokemon you ever caught? I mean, in all honesty, it was probably something stupid like a uh, fucking Rattata or Pidgey. I, I would assume that much, but I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you because that was a long time ago. And I wish I could remember because that would be kind of cool to remember, you know, but can't. So whatever. Uh, and then King of LP also asks, also, if you could be any human character from any of the Pokemon stuff, anime, games, or manga, who would you choose? Um... I don't know. Probably, like, the main uh, char main guy character from, uh, fucking Gold, Silver, Heart, Gold, whatever. You know, I, I that's probably one of my favorite sprites, and he just seems to be one of the coolest dudes, so fuck it. Let's just go with him. Why not? Because he's a cool cat, so no reason to hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. Um, let's see, next question is from Cat with a Chainsaw. His question is, what was your first shiny Pokemon? Um, besides Red Gyarados, it was a Zubat in Gen 3, actually. Yeah, not that interesting, but, you know, it, it was a Pokemon, so it worked, I guess. But, I don't know, I, I, I did get that Zubat catch, and I did like it, but it was just a matter of shit. It's a Zubat, but then I did raise it up to a Crobat, and I liked it, but then I accidentally erased that save file, because I was stupid, and I was like, eh, whatever. But then I realized, fuck, I lost my shiny thingy. So, it's whatever now, but it was just like, then it was like, oh, fuck, I lost, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Next question is from Raymond Bone. He asked, did you steal this idea from Shofu? I think I already answered that, but no, I didn't, because... The whole concept of Q&A isn't really uh, something new and something that only Shofu could do. I was planning on doing one months ago, but I've just been really fucking lazy. And I've been thinking about doing it in some weird-ass fucking way. And then I was finally said, fuck it, let's just fucking go for it. So, yeah. Let's see. S. Swire asks, if you could have sex with one Pokemon, what would it be? Again, having to always resort to fucking sex. I love how this community likes to be with that kind of shit. But... You know what? We'll we'll humor you. We'll, we'll we'll I'll give you a humorous answer. Actually, I think I've already humored this question, but it, it if I had to make a choice, I guess it'd probably just be like fucking Gardevoir or something, a female Gardevoir. I don't know, most human like whatever. Uh, let's see, next question from Dark Dog three nine seven s Chase. Do you like dark chocolate? Not really. I'm not much of a bitter guy, and just dark chocolate is way too bitter for me. I mean, it's like, otherwise I have no real problem with it. It's just, I don't like bitter things. It's just not my taste. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, next question is from Arceus3214. How come you have to say shit and fuck so much, and how come you rarely sound genuinely happy? Well, I say shit and fuck so much because I don't really see a... I, I, hold on, what am I even trying to say? Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I don't really see a problem with those words, and I like those words... 
and it's like they're really versatile and easy to use and instead of having to resort to actually being smart i can just kick back and be like fucking whatever man this shit is how it goes it's like why not i mean like i said they're words they're really easy to interject and they can just work well but it's not like i'm without a good vocabulary i just choose to fucking have a ter- have a terrible one while i'm uh on the YouTubes or talking in general. I'm just like, like I said, I'm just really laid back about shit and I'll just do whatever. So, and why do I, how come I don't sound genuinely happy a lot? Because, um, there's nothing that makes me like, oh boy, this is so fucking amazing. It's like, do you really want me to over accentuate myself and I really don't fucking want to? It's just, it's just a matter of, eh, I don't really want to, just go too far with shit and I just would rather be frank about everything and not have to be all like I'm gonna sugarcoat it all and be fucking yeah it's it's just not me and I mean if I get happy about something you'll realize that but it's like I'm never displeased half the time when I'm making a video unless I specifically say like oh I fucking hate this Uh, well no like even when I'm like making like let's say an LP part and something's going bad for me I'm still having fun playing the game and the thing is if I'm completely not enjoying myself completely not having fun then obviously and I'm not gonna fucking do it or not even post a video or fucking something I mean it'd be a rare case but it's just I'm never like completely dissatisfied in that sense if you know what I mean so it's not really a matter of like I don't know but it's just I'm I'm not ever, like, genuinely displeased most of the time, but I'm not, like, happy, happy, joy, joy, you know? But, uh, let's see. Next question is from Crippled Craig. His question is, what is your favorite, favorite Five Finger Death Punch song? Mine is Under and Over It. Um, that's honestly tough. Like, because for a while it probably was, like, uh, let's see. It would be between, like, Dying Breed, Way of the Fist, and Ashes. But lately, I've been letting, like, Meet the Monster and uh, Succubus into that. Mainly Succubus, actually. It's been my more favorite song lately. But Under and Over, it's good, too. But I don't know. It is it is a tough choice to decide truly what is your favorite. But lately, it's been Succubus. So I'll go with Succubus. Um, next question is from AquaGuy34. He asked, do you wear dresses on your free time? No. Why the fuck do you guys have such an obsession about that shit? You know, it... it I, I I don't understand, you know, if you really have such an obsession with dudes and dresses, you know, I'm, we're on the internet, I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of that without having to resort to me, except why would you have to even resort to me to, for, for it, you know, like I said, just go on the internet, fuel your obsession there, it's very easy, you're not getting it from me though, I don't know why you want it from me, but... Fucking just, yeah, have fun with that. Anyways, next question is from Kevin Music, or Kevin X Music. His question is, do you watch Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? Which one is your favorite and favorite season of each show? Let's see, favorite, oh, well, first of all, yes, I did watch Yu-Gi-Oh! anime up to, like, I don't even remember when I last watched it. I know I watched 5Ds, but I didn't watch it all the way, just because I fucking don't watch any, like, anime in my free time, really. But, it's like, yeah, I only watched what was, like, on TV. But, uh, favorite, which season is my favorite? Probably 5Ds, just because, like, the original, I mean, yeah, it did have the storyline. It did have a lot more excitement to it, but they fucking duel like shit. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! player in me got annoyed by that. But actually, it'd be a tie between 5Ds and the original, just because the original was really fucking good. Just, they were stupid with dueling. But, 5Ds did have the dueling aspects, and they did have some pretty good shit going into it, so I, I, I can't knock them, but uh, let's see, the favorite season of each, that's honestly tough, because I don't fucking remember each and every fucking season, or what I really am all like, oh my god, it's so amazing, so, um, let's see, I'm trying to think though, probably for the first th- fucking, the original, I had to go with the Battle City season, I guess. 
I don't know. I don't remember what season. I think it's like season two. Hold on, I need to take a drink of water. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, for GX, I mean, I didn't mind GX, but at the same time, I was like, meh. I couldn't really pick a favorite season, though. It was all kind of equally the same. Nothing really stood out to me, so I guess I'll just fucking go with season one, because fucking whatever. And then, uh, for 5Ds, like I said, I didn't watch all 5Ds, so I'll go with, um, the Signer stuff, when, I don't, I don't even know how you split that up into seasons, technically, but, you know, when they were dealing with all the Earthbound Immortal dudes, I guess that was a pretty cool season, if that, I don't know how that works, so. Let's see, favorite Pokemon, favorite Pokemon. Why did why can't people go back and read fucking what I or the fact that I've already answered what my favorite Pokemon is like twenty thousand times? Like, can, could you have not gone gone back and read the comments and realized, wait, someone else already asked this? Because I'm not going to hammer it again. So you can go back and watch older shit for you two people that asked it in a row. Like, see, how, I don't, I don't fucking know. Like. Whatever. Anyways, the next question is from D1EQ0012. Oh, wait, he already asked a question I did answer before. It says, expectations for Pokemon in the upcoming years. And like I said, I have no real outstanding expectations. I just expect it to be Pokemon still. You know? I, I don't... I, I'm just a go-with-the-flow kind of guy, unless it sucks. I mean, I... Well, I guess I wouldn't really say go with the flow. I'm just like a wait and see. I don't really speculate, like I said. So that's just how it goes. Let's see. Next question is Falcon X B Ball Seven. Are you ever gonna get back into the PTCGO now that it's back up and running and more sets have been released? Um, let's see. There's two reasons why I w actually hold on. Uh, two or three reasons why I won't get back into it. Because, well, let's see, three. First one is, um, I don't have the money to, because I would still need to get codes, and I'm pretty sure that no one's going to have, like, hundreds of codes to throw at me. So, the fact that I won't be able to get my own codes and be able to buy my own codes, it's just, it's not going to really bode well for me trying to do my own TCGO stuff. Um, because I'd rather focus on Yu-Gi-Oh! than Pokemon, honestly. Or, you know, trading card game-wise. But, uh, number two, like I said, I just don't have cards to do it with. So, I mean, if I did, then I might do it. But it, the thing is, if I can't get fucking cards, I'm not going to be able to fucking do it. And I'm not going to go out of my way to get shit. Because it's just, eh. But, I mean, if people threw all sorts of shit my way, I might do it. But, uh, reason three would be the fact that uh, TCGO does not have a Mac client yet, so I'd have to wait on that either way, but I think trading's up, so I mean, at least once the Mac client's out, I can trade and get shit, but until then, I have no way of actually playing, because they don't have a Mac client, and I tried running it with Wine, or the Windows client with Wine, and it wouldn't work, so I cannot play TCGO until they release a Mac client, which I have no fucking clue when they're gonna do that, and I really, honestly don't really have any intentions in doing it anyways, because, like I said, focusing more on Yu-Gi-Oh!, so whatever. Um, next question is from Congressional Wombat, and she has a series of questions, which, let's see, first one, favorite dessert. Honestly, I'm kind of simple with that, which would just be just some brownies. I'm, I'm not much of an elegant dessert guy, I just would rather have something that's good and tasty, you know? So, let's just go with brownies, because I like brownies. Let's see, most horrible nightmare. I don't know. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. It's like, that that's kind of difficult because it's like, I don't really have any standing out nightmares that I can think of off the top of my head, you know? So, I mean, sorry to disappoint. I just don't really have anything that comes off the top of my head. I guess maybe dying would be the only thing that could be, you know, dying too early without accomplishing much and just... Not being able to live with my everyday life? I don't know. Like I said, I just don't really have any, like, quote-unquote nightmares, you know? But that's just how it goes, I guess. But, uh, let's see. Uh, dream bathroom. 
I don't know. <laughs> Fucking, I'm a guy. I don't really have any um, specifications for a bathroom that I need to really give a shit about. So, I don't have anything specifically that would go towards a dream bath bathroom. Because, why would I give a shit? As long as it's got a sink, mirror, toilet, shower, I'm kind of satisfied. You know, I don't really need much else. And maybe a little bit of storage space, but I'm not going to freak out if I don't have a little bit of fucking storage space. But, uh, let's see. Next question is from Supreme King 27 Well, series of questions. Uh, how'd you get so good in Pokemon? I'm really not that good, but I just sat around and played the game a lot and worked on my predictions and made sure that I could actually use my brain. Use my brain. So, you know, use your brain when you play Pokemans. And it might help you out in life. Probably not, but you, one can try. Um, let's see, then... Uh, what's your favorite starter Pokemon? I think I already answered this, but Chimchar... Yeah, Chimchar. I think that's a safe answer. Uh, let's see, which gen was your favorite? I think I already answered this too, but I'd have to go with fucking second gen stuff. Yeah, that, that'd be a safe answer too. Uh, let's see, name your top six favorite Pokemon. Top six, I've not actually ever said anything about, so that's at least different. <laughs> but let's see, top six, obviously, Infernape Jirachi... Uh, let's see. What else do I, like, specifically like? That's honestly hard, because I never really think about it otherwise. It's like, people only usually care about what's your favorite from, like, one from each gen, or your favorite one overall. But, uh... Just thinking about it, like, I'd probably throw in, um... Flygon is one of them. Uh... Terrakion's become one of my favorites, Rotom Wash, and, um, I don't know, fucking, I guess Scizor. It's not really on the, the fact that I'm throwing that in because of U-Turn, but it's just, I can't really think of anything else right now, I just thought it was a cool Pokemon anyway, so I might as well include it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. And then, what's my favorite legendary? Drachi. I mean, if... If my favorite Pokemon overall is going to be Jirachi, I might as well have it be my favorite Legendary. Uh, and then what time am I normally on PokeMMO? I don't know. It's whenever Spade asks me to record and I'm actually, like, in the mood to record. Just lately, I haven't really been in the mood to record, so we haven't really recorded much lately. So we haven't been playing, and I really haven't been in the mood to play it on my free time because it's just, you know, playing Pokemon Fire Red again. And it's just, if I'm already doing the LP... I don't really have much incentive to play otherwise, because, yeah. So, I don't really have a specific time. I guess it'd be more during towards the week, even though I just haven't had the time to record when he's able to, because time zones and I have to get my own shit done when he wants to, so it's just like, I don't know. Shit's just dumb, basically. So, yeah. See, next question is from Tisser of My... And this question is, MLP, FIM, no, no, just no, just no. Uh, let's see, next question is from Jeffrey DS. His question is, will Pokemon Black Nuzlocke ever get finished? I already did. Yeah, th th that's the disadvantage of answering a Q&A fucking from three weeks ago, because, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, next question is from Neil Steiner. His question is, what's your favorite Pokemon tier? It is obviously Little Cup and totally not OU. I obviously hate and despise OU, but it's obviously all people want to see ever. But, yeah, my favorite tier is OU. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I guess it might not be obvious to the casual person who just randomly steps in and is like, Hey, what's up? I'm a guy. How's it going? Let's see, another favorite Pokemon question. Favorite gym leader. I think I already went over that, but I think I also answered the fact that I don't really have one specifically because I'm fucking stupid, but uh, if I haven't answered that yet, I might as well just still answer it because why the fuck not? But favorite gym leader. Um, favorite gym leader. Favorite gym leader. Favorite gym leader. Favorite gym leader. Thinking of all the gym leaders... Coming to a decision about all the gym leaders. Uh, 
Let's go with Gary Oak. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything else right now. Let's just go with Gary Oak. I probably answered something else the last time I got asked this question, but I can't think of anything right now because I'm being stupid. Um, well, it's the 7th gym and 4th gen. So let's see. I'm just trying to remember how all the gyms went. So let's see, 4th gen, it was that guy, and then that girl, and then that, that, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go with fucking Gary Oak, because Gary Oak. Gary Oak's a cool cat. I don't know. Um, let's see, next question is from Mr. Mario 174 He asks, have you ever had a relationship, lol? Yes, I have. I don't know if I've already gone over that, but yes, I have been in a relationship before, and it was, it was a relationship, alright. Let's see, next question is from Movo19. And he asks, serious question, because it actually sometimes hard as what you prefer, stall or hyper offense? Neither. I'm more of a balanced offense kind of guy, or bulky offense, let's go with that. I, I don't prefer stall or hyper offense, I kind of hate both play styles. Like, I never play one or the other, I don't know why you'd assume that I like stall, and hyper offense, I mean, I can understand because I have an offensive play style, but I do play more bulky offense than I do hyper offense. I never play hyper offense, actually. I always at least have one wall, and then I usually play the team a bit defensively anyways. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing it, but I've never, never had a preference to either of them. So, yeah... Anyways, next, we got a series of questions from King of LP15. Yes, do you like Kill Switch Engage? Let's see. I have a stack of every single CD released by Kill Switch Engage. Obviously, I hate them super much. They're the worst band ever, obviously. But now they're cool. See, first ever Shiny, I already said it was Zubat. When I started playing Pokemon, when it came out, like I said. Uh, let's see. Uh, can you give me... As a casual player, any advice to get really good at Pokemon? Learn your predictions, learn your team building, and then, you know, you gotta also learn the fucking EVs and IVs, but mainly just learn team building, learn the metagame, learn predictions. You're good. So, yeah. And then, can you check out my Pokemon White LP? Hey, you said ask anything. Well, I did, but I'm also allowed to deny your request for me to check out your LP because I don't watch random ass people. No offense, but I just don't watch random people on a regular basis. I, it's very rare when I randomly just go, hey, I'm gonna fucking watch this thingy, and you're, it's, it's not gonna be that kind of day for you, and probably won't ever. Anyways, um, next question is from also him. You just had a separate comment asking, also, what store did you get your hat? Um... Well, it depends on which hat you're talking about, but all my beanies that I currently have in my possession I've gotten online. So, if you want a beanie, go online and buy it at a web store, like the Motionless One one I got from their fucking merch store. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna quick take a swig of water. Hold on a second. Ah, liquid refreshment. Anyways, the next question is from... Sudden Bull, uh, which PokeTubers do you think are the best and worst at battling? See, the worst part is weird because everyone has their moments where they shine through and actually be decent. Like, I know I probably give MBZ a lot of shit for just being MBZ, but he's not too incredibly bad, but it's just like, he's just easy to rag on about shit. But, uh, let's see, best... Let's see, any of the current, like, if we're talking current people who are kind of bigger in the community that are PokeTubers, like, probably the best ones would be, like, Tony Flygon, PokeMMD, Shofu, I mean, those are kind of the better ones right now, but, I mean, there are obviously others that, like, aren't as big that are pretty fucking good at this game, just they aren't as big, but, you know, that's how it is. Worst? Like, if we're talking about also the same basis, kind of worst out of... The bigger dudes, I, I can't really say, because 
it's just, you know, everyone has their ups and downs, and, uh, it, I mean, it's not like they're totally unskilled, because they know what the fuck they're doing half the time, they just don't really give a shit as a thing. You know, anyone who's higher up is just, they don't necessarily suck, they just don't really give a shit. So, it's not really a matter of that, it's just who gives a shit the least, which probably be, like, MBZ or Eric. Well, actually, Eric does give a little bit of shit, but MBZ, he's really... It's like fucking whatever, but otherwise it's just that no one necessarily sucks. They just are like if they don't do as well, they just don't give a shit. So yeah, let's go with that. Anyways, um, next question is from Shadow Blaze XD. Wow, can you upload that very first Wi-Fi battle you had with your very first narration? I was thinking about re-uploading that sometime, but I've been really lazy and been trying to figure out when it would be perfect to upload it. And I don't know when I'll do it. I'll probably do it in like five years, but until then. Laziness, because laziness is a cool last thing that was invented for people like me. Anyways, next question is from Mr. Mario174. He asked, would you consider yourself skinny? No, I don't consider myself skinny. I, I know my own weight, but I also know that I'm not, like, morbidly obese or anything. I just know I'm overweight, but it's not like I'm, like at a bad weight, or, you know, like, not a terrible weight, I'm not, like, terribly, oh my god, it's all fucking stupid, but it's not like I'm gonna, whatever, I don't know, but the point is, no, I'm not skinny, but I'm not, like, fucking a, the biggest fat ass ever, you know, but who knows, maybe I'm just crazy, um, so the next question is also from Mr. Mario, he asks, would you consider, consider yourself popular in school? No, I really wasn't, but, you know, I wasn't, like, the biggest loser ever, but I wasn't really popular. Um, but, yeah, I was kind of just a shut-in, but it was like, I wasn't terrible. But, uh, let's see, next question is from Poogeyman's for the win. He asks, I know you occasionally play Halo Reach, but are you excited for Halo 4 and are you going to pre-order it? No, if, if I even am going to buy it at some point, um, it would be, like, I'd have to physically just go there and buy it either on the release date or something. I mean, I'm going to get it eventually. It's just I'm probably not going to get it until, like, Christmas. I'm not really sure yet. But, I mean, I'll probably get it eventually, like I said. But I'm not really sure at this point. So, until then, you'll just be left with, hey, I'm going to get it sometime. So, yeah. But it's not like I'm, like, overly excited about it. I mean, it's like, hey, cool, Halo 4. But I'm not really going to be all like, oh, my God, I fucking fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm weird. Anyways, next question is from, uh, Sir Paris the 619. He asks, how did you meet the Flaming Spade and Blackie? Well, Spade was just a fan, and eventually I battled him, and he started getting a bit more status, so he kind of started to mingle with the whole crew, and then eventually he became part of the crew, and then, yeah. And Blackie, I don't remember, honestly. I think she was, like, part of one of our random Skype groups that we had with some people, and then she started talking to me, and fucking, it is what it is now. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how I did meet her, but I, just something like that. Let's see. King of LP 15 asks even more questions. Did you ever think you'd be this popular? 10k subs. Um, no. But I've been more popular than this technically, but I mean, I expected I would get back to 10k eventually, but, I mean, if we're talking about before, before, like, even before I started, you like, seriously YouTubing back on my old account, then no, I didn't expect to get this popular, but if you're just talking in the aspect of on this particular account, I knew I'd be able to get back to it, but I don't know. Let's see, next, do you like the NFL, and if so, what is your favorite team? No, I don't really like the NFL, I just don't really like sports, I mean... If I had to choose a team, I'd have to just go with, I don't fucking know, like the Packers or something. It's just what I was raised on to be a Packer fan. So, I'm, I'm just saying, if I had to choose, it'd just be that just because that's what I was raised on. But, I mean, if it was a true choice, I wouldn't pick anything because I don't really give a shit. Um, let's see, then, what hacks would you personally recommend? Any that I've LP'd that I haven't completely hated, which... I've never completely hated any of the games that I've LP'd, so, you know, any of the games that I've LP'd have been pretty good ROM hacks, so might as well fucking play them. Then, hell, my 20? 
And then, out of all the Pokemon LPs I've done, what is your favorite and why? Um, let's see, favorite. Like, I don't know. That's that's kind of a tough one. Like, probably the one ones that I had the most fun making and the ones that people have responded with the best, I think, have been... Well, I mean, I know for a fact that people liked fucking Light Platinum and Flora Sky the most, and those have just received the best reception overall, so I can assume that people liked them. So, that's something, I guess, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, if we're going off that, th those... I mean, yeah, like I said, those were probably the most fun I had really doing LPs and... But after a while, you know, it's still, still like I have fun of them, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm having fun right now doing the uh, Emerald Metronoming shit, but, yeah, like I said, probably Light Platinum and Flora Sky, because I was just getting into it, and it was just this new territory, but then after a while, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, but it, the, yeah, those are probably the most fun, and then was your first shiny, already went over that. Didn't you already ask that anyways? I don't know. Let's see, next question is from Vince Slintendo1. His question is, so how does it feel to know that someone's kid in the heart of America has blood on your hands, fighting to defend your rights so you can maintain the lifestyle that insults his family, like, family's existence? Um, let's see, how does that exactly go? Um, well, we're up front something. Hold on a sec. I'm, I'm actually going to get the lyric book out of the CD case from the album. Just so I can specifically quote it. Wow, this this case is really banged up. I did not know that the front of this, like, just has annoying t cracks on it. But it's only in, like, the corner. But it's like, I did not know that this case had those cracks on it. But I'm going to get out the lyric book and be like, um, let's see. Where is it? Like, I know the basis of it. I just don't remember, you know, the full speech of it. Let's see. Someone's kid in hard America has butter hands, so I can defend your rights so you can maintain lists. Uh, well, where I'm from, we have a special salute that we aim high in the high towards all those pompous assholes who spend their days pointing fingers. Fuck you. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I, I wish I knew that by heart, but it's just like, you don't normally need to fucking know that, so... It's just, I mean, at least I knew part of it, <laughs> you know, but it's just not something you really need to remember most of the time, so, yeah, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Anyways, next, we got a series of questions from glam for fab girl Her question is, do you have any brothers and sisters? No, I don't. Uh, what was your last name? Davis. Doesn't mean you get to stalk me, but I'm just saying. That's what it is. It's fairly common. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. And then, uh, why aren't you doing Cook with Wild Chantasy anymore? Because I didn't have fun with it, and I fucking hate it now, so fuck off. Uh, let's see. And then, how did you and Elo meet? Um, I think he was, like, a... F like, he got advertised by Xenon, and, like, I checked him out from his fucking SOS, and I was like, hey, this guy is pretty cool. So I checked his channel wall, and he was like, I want about a Wild Chase. Or, you know, he had a list of people he wanted to fight, and I was on that, and I was like... Fucking, this guy seems like a cool kid. I, I should set up a match with him. So I did, and it all kind of went from there, because I thought he was a cool kid. So, yeah. Anyways, next question is from Anemic Shadows. Or, Enigmatic Shadows, whatever. I don't fucking read. Let's see, his question is, Hey, Wow, what were you going to dress up as this... What are you going to dress up as this Halloween? What did you dress up for? It's Halloween from your past childhood that you can remember. Um, I wasn't planning on doing anything for Halloween, honestly, so I wasn't planning on dressing up as anything. I know, kind of lame, but I was not really planning on doing anything. So, that's the answer I'm giving you. So, oh well. But, uh, let's see. From what I remember, I know, let's see, probably the two costumes I can really remember are I was a knight one year, and I was a ninja. Well, I was a knight a few years, because I had this really decent knight costume. I was a ninja a couple times. After that, I just don't really remember anything really, but, you know, those. And then uh, another series of questions, because that's what people like to do. Because they're cool kids. So, um, let's see. First, 
Who are you voting for, Romney or Obama? Are you Democrat or Republican? What are political views on Romney and Obama? Are, are you interested in politics or couldn't care less? What is your favorite animal? First of all, hooray fucking politics. Uh, people are going to be like, hey. But, uh, let's see. I'm voting for Obama just because I don't fucking like Romney. And again, I just don't really like many Republicans. But, uh, are you Democrat or Republican? Kind of just from the fact that I hate a lot of Democrats. Or not, I don't hate Democrats. I hate most Republicans. I'd probably be more of a Democrat, but I don't really consider myself anything. I'm just a guy that really doesn't like the Republican stances. But otherwise, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I'm so specific, right, guys? But uh, what are my political views on Romney and Obama? I fucking hate Romney, and I don't really give a shit otherwise. That's that's my stance. I fucking hate Romney. A good stance, right? You should uh, remember that. Remember that. It might come and help you one day to know that I fucking hate Mitt Romney. But, um... I don't know, I don't really give a shit about Obama, honestly, but it's just, more or less, I really fucking hate Mitt Romney, so I really don't want that fucker to get elected, so, fuck him, get out of here, so, yeah, I, I honestly, though, to answer the next question, I really am not interested in politics, I don't really give a shit, I mean, as long as they don't fuck me over, or fuck over an everyone, it's like, okay, good for that, but... It's just most of the time, it's like, fucking whatever. Stupid shit. You know? Because that's what most politics are. Just a bunch of stupid shit. And a uh, favorite animal. Already gone over this, but cat. So, yeah. And let's see, next. What are the odds... Oh, from uh, JC Bricklin, Brick, Bicklin 707 Because nicely misspelled name. Um, What are the odds you'll do another NU week? I don't know. It's really just fucking random as hell. It's like, hey, let's do the stupid shit. It's like, I don't know. I couldn't give you a real answer. I'd, I'd say slim to none, depending on if I actually want to play on you, because I highly doubt it'll be like with RU, where it was like, I had that Clefable obsession, so I was like, let's do some fucking RU. But I highly doubt that there will be an NU week again. But I don't plan anything so you never fucking know. So don't ask me about my plans, because nothing's ever realsies. Let's see. A large amount of questions right here from Shadow Darkstar 293 Um, oh, this first part is silly, but I'm going to read it anyways, because you get to f read a silly thingy. Um, see, hey, Wild, would you ever consider visiting the Dragon's Den and challenge the League over there? Over 5th Gen Wi-Fi. It's one of the best places to find battles. And there will be a Halloween tournament coming up on October 27th. If you want to join and check out the site. I'll send you the links over PM on YouTube. Um, first of all, because you tried to advertise to me, I, I really don't want to check out your site now. I wasn't planning on it in the first place, but now I have extra reason not to check it out. So, good job. You know how to not get people on your site. Just saying. It's just... Good job. But, uh, no, I will not go on your site either way. I don't give a shit about your goddamn site. It really doesn't make a difference to me. So, no, I don't I don't care about your tournament. I don't care about your being one of the best places, even though it probably isn't. And I hate leagues, because most of the leagues out there fucking suck. I know you probably try and say it differently, but no, shut up. I'm going to take a drink of water now just because of that. Just remember what you did. You made me take a drink of water. This hurt so much, right? Let's see. Next. If you had a free opportunity, would you go out on a date with Moody Pones? Ah, you silly internet people. <clears throat> you always gotta bring up that bullshit about everything. Let's see. Free opportunity. No. I don't really feel about her like that, so why does it have to be anything more than that? I'm sorry that it can't be anything more than that, because apparently I have to be sorry now that I'm not fulfilling your obsessions about shit that doesn't even fucking matter to you or anyone involved, but whatever. Um, and then favorite drink-snack. 
Let's see, favorite snack? I don't really have one specifically that I can think of off the top of my head. It, you know, it's one of those things that just is, like, constantly changing all the time. I mean, lately, I've been snacking on fucking Kit Kats. But it's not like it's really my favorite overall. Hell, I used to not really even be much of a fan of Kit Kats. But then I was like, wow, I'm really in the mood for Kit Kats for some reason. So, you know, that was just something random. But it all depends at the time. But uh, favorite drink right now is root beer. But on a more consistent basis, it's usually Mountain Dew Code Red. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. Next question is from JBC777 Win. Uh, what are your opinions on the 2012 U.S. presidential election? Fucking fuck. Literally, fucking fuck. It's all fucking fuck. That's all I can say. It's all fucking fuck. What are your thoughts on the candidates? Fuck Mitt Romney. I don't give a fuck otherwise. Why is this thingy still here? I'm just gonna fucking forfeit that one. Um, if you're voting, who you vote for? Obama just so Romney doesn't get elected. And then, will you upload a battle against Spade sometime? I don't know, we haven't had a battle lately, so I can't tell you if I'm going to upload a match against him or not. It's like, I don't pre-plan matches I'm going to get and have. It's, you know, you battle when you battle. So, fucking, I don't know. Let's see, then Shadowblaze XDS. Chase, when are you going to host the next tournament? I've honestly been thinking about it, actually, lately, like... It's more do so to laziness that I haven't lately, but I I am actually in the process of getting one planned out and possibly getting one together because I have not done one in a while, and it would be a lot of fun to do one again. So I do plan on doing one soon, I just don't know when. So, I don't know, hopefully I'll get one going soon, but I can't promise anything. Um, let's see... Then another series of questions from Supreme King Twenty Seven. See, first, do you watch Pokemon anime? No, I don't. Cause fucking it sucks. Yeah, cause fucking it sucks. Um, let's see. If Pokemon were real, what would your team be and why? No legendaries. Damn it! That that that's dumb. I don't know. It would just be a random team. I would probably use on Wi-Fi. Because then I could kick ass, take names, and chew gum. Because why the fuck not? Let's see. Have you ever watched Beyblade, Digimon, Duel Masters, Battle, Beat em on? If so, what was your favorite? Let's see. I've watched Beyblade, watched Digimon, and I think I watched Duel Masters, Battle, Beat em on. I don't fucking remember what that is. It sounds stupid, though. But let's see. Out of those, my favorite would be Digimon, because Digimon's cool. Uh, wait, what? If so, what's your favorite chats who are from the show, and what's your opinion about it? I don't even fucking know what the second part of that question is, so I'm going to ignore that completely. Uh, I'm currently in the process of making my own Pokemon ROM hack. Would you play it when it gets finished, and can we have a rematch sometimes when you do... You need to learn how to type. Let's see. He's asked, well, let's see, let's answer this one first. Um, he's currently in the process of making a ROM hack. Would he play when he f gets finished? Well, for some reason, your grammar is telling me that you're not going to make ROM hacks the best. So, no. I, I also don't play by request. I just play by what actually looks good. If you actually make a good-looking ROM hack that actually doesn't suck, then maybe I'll play it. But chances are, you, it won't be that great. So I probably won't play it. So there you go. And then, can we have a rematch sometimes? No, cause you asked. I don't. I don't do requests. I do shit when I do shit. But you don't get a rematch by request ever. Now, let's see, man. When you and Spade gonna do Wi-Fi battle? I don't fucking know. I don't plan this shit. The only times I've battled Spade have been completely fucking random. So, like I said, I don't plan this shit. They just fucking happen. Um, what's your favorite type of every Pokemon? Favorite Pokemon of every type, rather. Fuck, I need to pull up a type chart now, because I don't remember every single fucking type out there. Um, and now I'm just going to be way too lazy to think about it. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just I'm going to be way too fucking lazy. Um, 
I mean, I can tell you right off the bat, favorite fighting type Infernape, favorite fire type Infernape, favorite steel type Jirachi, favorite psychic type Jirachi. <laughs> I mean, just to take the easy way out, but, uh, let's see, favorite poison type, let's go with Crobat. Um, let's see. Uh, favorite bug type, let's go with Scizor. Um, let's see, favorite normal type, let's go with um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm no good at this. I'm no good at thinking any at any time. Think here. I'm just gonna go pull up Serebi right now. You're gonna look at my browser. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, bug. Let's go look at the bug poogie mans. Well, first let's hit this fucker with an attack. And it, okay, um, Bug Poogie Mans, Bug Poogie Mans, let's probably just go with Scizor, just cause Scizor, yeah, Scizor would be a safe thing to go with, or maybe Genesect, just cause of lately, let's see, favorite dark type, let's go with, um, picking a Poogie Man first, but, uh, let's see, dark types, dark types, dark types, um, Darkrai, Totally forgot about Darkrai. Yeah, Darkrai. Darkrai or, uh... Darkrai or, or, um um, 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 what the fuck is it called? I was just looking at it a second ago. What am I... What was I even thinking of? Darkrai or... Crocodile. There we go. Or maybe even Hydreigon. Uh, let's see. Favorite dragon type. I'd have to go with, um, Garchomp. Just like, even before it went Uber, before it was anything else, or before it was Uber Special Awesome, I just loved Garchomp. It was just a cool dude. Um, the, 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 the favorite electric type, Zapdos. Yeah, let's just go there. Um, fighting type, find. Fine type! Let's go with, uh... Wait, what am I doing? No, I don't want to do that, whatever. Um, flying type. Eh, let's just go with Zapdos, probably. I'm just quick scrolling through to see what there is. Yeah, let's just go with Zapdos. That's that's a safe bet. Or maybe, like, yeah, Zapdos. Um, Ghost type. I like, I like, I like, I like. I like Shedinja. Shedinja's a cool cat. Grass type. Um, that's fucking that. Um, no, let's see. Grass types. Not a huge fan of grass types in general. Probably like Sceptile. But that's or Breloom. Sceptile or Breloom. Uh or Tangrowth. Sceptile, Breloom, or Tangrowth. Or Shaman. Let's go with Shaman. Yeah, let's go with Shaman. Ground type. Uh there are a lot of cool ground types. So there's like Nido King, there's Sand Slash, there's Flygon, there's Garchomp, there's fucking Landorus, fucking just a ton of shit. I don't know. I don't really have a huge choice, but let's go with fucking Landorus or Garchomp. Ice types. Ice types half suck, but let's see what they got. Um. Let's go with, let's go with Mamoswine. Mamoswine's a cool cat. And normal type, did I even answer that one? I don't think I did. Um, let's see. Let's go with Clefable or Staraptor. Let's see, Poison type, I already said Crobat. Um, Psychic type, Rock type. What's a good Rock type? Let's see. Uh, rocks, rock types. I don't know anything about rock types. Uh, Tracheon. There we go. And then water type. Uh, let's go with. Let's go with. Um, I don't know what to go with. What am I going with? Let's go with. Just figuring out what's all water types. Um, let's see, I lost that, whatever. Um, uh, da, 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 go water types. Rotom. Let's go with Rotom. 
then yeah, I already went to other shit. So there you go. I took a long time to answer it, but there you fucking go. All right, next question from S S A Jacobson. Would you consider yourself part of any subculture? If so, which one and why? Not really. I'm, I guess I mean you could certainly be part of the loner internet gamer hardcore scene subcultures. I don't fucking know. I don't consider myself part of anything. If anything, I just sit on my ass all day and fucking be on in the internet. So I wouldn't really consider that a subculture. So let's just go with that. Oh, uh, let's see. Long fucking list of questions. Let's see. Chase, what's your favorite male and female main character from that you start the game with to design in the Pokemon games? I've already said uh, the fucking dude from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Let's see. Favorite male? Yeah, dude from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, favorite female? Probably Black and White 2's. Female. Um, for, fe- for Yu Gi Oh! Which season do you like the most as well out of the six? Okay, which season do I like the most? Um, like I said, probably Battle City. And out of the six elements of Hero Fusion, which design do you like the most? A uh, six elements elements of Hero Fusions. Um, if he's talking about the ones that are like from the mangas or whatever that are currently used now, probably like um, Elemental Hero Shining, I guess, or The Shining rather. It's it's useful and cool and good. And do you ever think that the creator, God of Light, Heracti, will ever get printed because it, if the OCG is a prize card of an art competition? Um, maybe eventually. I mean, it's not like it's going to be usable anyways, so it doesn't really matter too incredibly much if it gets printed or not. I guess it's all in the matter of fucking whatever. And then we finally get to the last fucking question. Yay! And it'll be all over. Let's see, do you have a tattoo, or would you ever consider getting a tattoo, and if so, what? Uh, I do not have any tattoos, but if I were to get... I, I am considering getting some tattoos eventually. Like, what I'd want to get tattoos of are probably, like, band shit, and then maybe, like, some gaming stuff, but... I mean, all I can really think of is just mainly band shit and video game stuff. I mean, probably my, one of my first tattoos would probably be something related to Motionless and White, but otherwise, I don't really have anything planned. Then do I... Have, what regrets do you have, if any? I mean, I have plenty of regrets, but nothing I can really think of that I haven't moved on from already. I mean, it's just more personal shit that I would rather not get into, honestly. Like, it's not that I don't want to vent to you guys. It's just that it's honestly none of your fucking business, you know? It, there's things like that. It's just you don't need to fucking know. And then what is your favorite line out of any song? Um... That's a tough one. See, probably one of the lines that stands out to me the most is probably from a date I remember, Sticks and Bricks. You can say what you want about me, but no one can tell me I can't. Just because no matter what, you should always have some form of determination for what you want to do. If someone's going to tell you that you can't do something that you want to do, that you're putting your heart and soul into, they can't truly tell you that you can't. You're the only one that can tell you that you can't. No one else can tell you that. Because it's all up to you, it's all you. They they can't tell you fucking shit. And then, will I do another another cooking wild chase? No, fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck everything. So yeah, that's it for all the fucking Q&As. If you asked a question on any of the specific answer parts, your question will never get answered. And after this, your questions will never get answered. So, sucks to be you. So, um... Yeah, I guess hope you guys enjoyed. No more fucking Q&As for a long ass time. So if your answers didn't get answered, then sucks to be you. So yeah, um, I guess that'll be it for this. So hope you guys enjoyed, etc, etc, blah. Rate, comment, sub, and later guys.